Hi guys! Welcome sa Behind Real Life TV featuring Hugot Sipnayan at para sa ating video today we're going to factor sum and difference of two cubes so guys, tara na! The sum and difference of two cubes when factoring sum and difference of two cubes we follow two simple pattern. We have a cube plus b cube is equal to quantity a plus b quantity a squared minus a b plus b squared. And for a cube minus b cube, we will apply a minus b times the quantity a squared plus a b plus b squared. Here guys, so same sign opposite on the trinomial so opposite sign on the middle value of the trinomial so same with this this is one is negative this one is negative same sign but different on the middle term of the trinomial so let us use our pattern for step number one find the cube root of the first term and the second term of the sum and difference of two cubes and for our step number two we just substitute the cube root of those two terms into our pattern now let's apply them for checking let's try to verify whether the said pattern is correct or not by using long method of multiplication or our vertical method After we multiply them one by one, after distributing A and B using our vertical method, we come up with the answer A cubed plus 0 plus 0 plus B cubed. Since this one is cancelled, cancelled out, so the remaining term is A cubed and B cubed. Hence, our first pattern is correct. For the next pattern, we're going to use the checking. So we're going to verify the next item here. So we have the given pattern, multiplying it again. So we will come up with an answer which is a cubed plus zero plus zero minus b cubed. Or simply writing a cubed minus b cubed. Let's us recall the squares and the cube of any number. This will be essential for you to determine because kung, kung tanda mo tong mga numerong ito, madali mo siyang masasagutan. Example, 1 times 1 times 1 for a cube ay 1. Ang 1 times 1 ay 1 for a squared. For number 2, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 is uh, the cube root or the cube of 8. Same thing with 3. 3 has a square of 9 and a cube of 27. For number 4, we have a square of 16 and a cube of 64. And for the rest of the item, we have 5, 25, 125. We have 6, 36, 216. That's for the square and the cube. We have 7, we have 49 for the square and 343 for the cube. For 8, may 64 po tayo na square at 512 naman na kanyang cube. Para sa 9, mayroon po tayong 81 na square at 729 na cube. At per square po ng 100 is 100 and 1,000. Apply natin siya ngayon. Let us have the first factor. Ipapaktor natin ng a cube plus 64. So, una natin gagawin, first is to find the cube root of the first term and the last term or the second term nung ating sum and difference of two cubes. So, etong dalawang ito. So, try muna natin yung x cube. Ang x cube natin ay galing sa x times x times x. Getting its cube root, automatic, ang cube root ng x cube ay x. 
Same thing with 64. Alam naman natin, diba, sa table natin kanina, na ang 64 ay galing sa 4 times 4 times 4. Pag kinuha natin ng cube root ng 64, that will be a 4. So, anong gagawin natin? Meron na tayong cube root na x, meron na tayong 4. Ang sunod natin gagawin, isa-substitute natin yung ating x at 4 sa ating pattern. Since ang ating given guys ay positive, we're going to use our first pattern that deals with positive. So, same sign, opposite on the middle. Let's apply. Unang ginawa, pinaltan po lahat ng a ng x. Okay? Pagkatapos po nun, sa ating next part, pinaltan lahat ng b ng 4. After nun, saka pinarform yung operation. So dito, x times x times x is x cubed. Here, ito po yun. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Ito po yun. We have x plus 4. We just need to copy them. x squared is x times x. Kaya po to x squared. We have negative... We have negative x times 4 is negative 4x. Ito po yung negative niya. Kaya po nagamayang negative dito. And for 16, we have 4 times 4. So, madali lang naman ang step. Dalawa lang naman. Kunin ang cube root after i-substitute sa pattern. For our next example, let's try to check whether the answer is correct or not. I-check po natin. By multiplying it again, so let's apply long method. Unang multiply itong dalawa, kaya naging 64. Pagkatapos ito, kaya po negative 16x. Pagkatapos yun, by distribution, same thing, this one, kaya po nagkamera ng ganito. This one, kaya po negative 4x squared. Ito po, kaya x cubed. Now, adding the like terms, makakancel po natin to, makakancel po natin, kaya po matitira natin ay x cubed plus 64. And our answer is correct. Now, for our next example, we have x cubed minus 125. So, tetes natin kung yung x cubed ba, sorry, yung c cubed natin, rather, at saka yung 125 natin ay parehas na cube. So, automatic parehas naman po. So, for our first step, Kunin natin ang cube root ng c cube. Okay, that is c. So, ang c cube po ay galing sa c times c times c. Kaya po naging c. For 125, we have 5 times 5 times 5. Kaya po ang cube root ng niya ay 5. So, after po nun, meron na tayong cube root na c at saka 5. Anong gagawin natin? So, i-apply natin siya sa ating pattern. If we're going to apply them on our pattern, ito po yung magiging sagot natin. So, lahat ulit ng A ay papaltan po natin ng C. Okay? Lahat po ng B ay papaltan po natin ng 5. Yan po. After nun, saka natin i-perform ulit yung ating operation. So, after performing, ito po ang magiging sagot natin. So, dito naman, automatic, nilalagay lang natin ng perform, perform lang naman ang operation. C, C times C, C cube. Negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 125. What's negative? So, dito, copy lang naman po. C times C, C squared. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times C is 5C. So, dalawa lang step natin. Kunin ng cube root, after nun, i-substitute. Next. Now, for more example, let's have example factor y cube minus 512. Ngayon, y cube, may cube root ba? Meron. 512, may cube root ba? Meron. 
Kailangan po, pareha silang perfect cube. So, ang cube root po natin ay y, ang cube root po natin ay a. Sa ating pattern, ang y ang a, ang 8 ay b. So, let's apply to the pattern. Pag in-apply mo at isinol mo ulit, sinabtitute ulit natin ang ating y for a, sinabtitute natin ang b natin for uh, sinabtitute natin ang 8 for b, rather, yun po ang magiging sagot natin. Okay? So, next example, 8k cube plus 27. So, ang 8k cube po ba ay perfect cube? The answer is yes. Same thing with 27 na may cube root na 3. Hanapin natin ang cube root. We have 2k and 3. So, we're going to use the pattern for addition. So, ito po ay same side. Same sign sa binomial. At yung middle term ng trinomial ay magkaiba. Opposite sign. So, after, after po nun, apply po natin. Hop, nilagay po ulit. Ang A ay magiging 2K. Ang B ay magiging 3. And yan po ang magiging sagot natin. For our last example, we have 125F cube plus 729G cube. So, they are both cube. Kaya po may cube root sila na 5F at saka 9G. Guys, kailangan nating maintindihan o malaman na parehas dapat may cube root. Pag yung first term natin ay walang cube root or yung second term natin ay walang cube root, automatic po, hindi siya consider as sum and difference of two cubes. So, after nun, we will apply them to our after our pattern. So, up, up, applying it to the pattern, ito pong maging sagot natin. We replace A by 5F. We replace B by 9G. At ito po yung magiging sagot natin. Just perform the operation kung multiplication po o square mo siya. Okay? Let us recall now, again, the steps on solving sum and difference of two cubes. So, ang ating first step, hanapin ang cube root ng first at second term ng sum and difference of two cubes. That's our first step. Dapat alam natin kung siya ay cube man or hindi. And our second step, they substitute it to the pattern na nasa PowerPoint po natin. Make sure tanda niya po yung ating pattern para madalian kayo. So, that is our discussion for today. I hope you learned something. Thank you guys. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and also your colleagues and also sa ating mga sujante. So, for more fun video educational video, just follow my page, uh, personal page, Jvresho or Behind Real Life TV. So, hugot sip na yan. And also my Instagram and don't forget to like this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you po and God bless. So, ingat po mga karelive. I hope you learned something and see you on the next topic.